Let's get right into it. Number 10. Necrotizing Arachnidism A single bite from a brown recluse spider can turn your flesh into liquid. The venom contains an enzyme that melts your skin and muscle tissue from the inside out. The scariest part is that when you first get bitten, you might not even notice. It feels like a small pinprick, if you feel anything at all. But within hours, the surrounding tissue starts to die. The skin turns purple, then black, as the flesh underneath literally dissolves. The center of the bite sinks in, creating a crater of dead flesh. Your flesh gets scooped out from underneath. The wound can get as big as a golf ball. But here's the twist. Most of these spider bites aren't even from spiders. Doctors have found over 40 different conditions that look exactly like these necrotic wounds. From bacterial infections to skin cancer, they all get blamed on innocent spiders. These recluse spiders aren't even aggressive. They're basically the introverts of the spider world. They only bite when you squish them or trap them against your skin, usually when they're hiding in your clothes or when you roll over them in bed. So next time you wake up with a weird wound, remember, while you're busy blaming spiders, the real cause could be something much worse. It could be flesh-eating bacteria having a party in your dermis instead. Number 9. The Lone Star Tick One tiny tick bite from this creature, and you can never eat a burger again. This tick doesn't just suck your blood, it reprograms your entire immune system. When it bites you, it injects something called alpha-gal into your blood. Your immune system sees this and completely loses its mind. It's like the tick turns your immune system into a vegan activist. The next time you try to enjoy a juicy steak, your body acts like you just ate poison. But here's the really evil part. The allergic reaction doesn't happen right away. You could be sitting there, enjoying your barbecue dinner, feeling fine. Then, three to six hours later, you're covered in hives and struggling to breathe. One single bite from this tick can turn the most dedicated meat lover into an involuntary vegetarian. And this isn't temporary. Some people never get to eat red meat again. Suddenly you're explaining to your friends why you can't go to the steakhouse anymore. These ticks are spreading from the southeast U.S. toward the north. And unlike other ticks that just wait around for victims, these guys actively hunt you down. They're like tiny heat-seeking missiles targeting their next victim. That white star on their back? That's like a serial killer wearing a smiley face t-shirt. Number 8. The Assassin Caterpillar This tiny caterpillar might look harmless and fuzzy, but it's one of nature's deadliest creatures. Hidden in that innocent exterior are thousands of venomous spines that can make a rattlesnake bite feel like a mosquito sting. These aren't just regular spines. They're tiny poison-filled needles that break off in your skin. Once they're in, they keep pumping venom into you long after you've brushed the caterpillar away. Think thousands of microscopic venom drips under your skin. These masters of disguise hang out on leaves and tree bark in Central and South America, looking innocent and fluffy. It's like nature's version of a trap house. Looks harmless from the outside, but step inside, and you're in for a world of hurt. One minute you're admiring this cute fuzzy bug, the next you're in the hospital with your arm feeling like it's being cooked from the inside out. Despite being smaller than your pinky finger, these little assassins have sent grown men to the hospital crying like babies. They're like tiny ninjas wearing fuzzy pajamas filled with poison. So next time you see a cute fuzzy caterpillar, just admire it from a distance. Number 7. Fatal heart attack triggered by a single wasp sting. These flying needles can actually trigger a heart attack with just one sting, and you don't even need to have a bad heart for this to happen. When the wasp injects its venom, your body completely loses its mind. Your immune system goes into full panic mode, like a rookie security guard hitting every alarm button at once. Your body starts releasing chemicals fast. These chemicals make your blood vessels squeeze shut, like someone's putting your heart in a chokehold. It's like trying to drink a milkshake through a pinched straw. Your heart starts screaming for oxygen like a kid holding their breath during a tantrum. Then your lungs start filling up with fluid. It's like trying to breathe underwater. The wasp just flies away, while your entire cardiovascular system shuts down. These little insects don't even know they have this power. They're like toddlers with nuclear launch codes. Scientists call it Kunis syndrome. One minute you're enjoying your sandwich, the next you're in an ambulance. And you won't even know if you're allergic until it happens. Number 6. The Tsetse Fly this tiny terror is basically a flying vampire with a PhD in torture. These bugs don't just suck your blood. They inject you with microscopic parasites that turn your brain into scrambled eggs. When a tsetse fly bites you, you probably won't even notice. It's like getting pickpocketed by a mosquito wearing an invisibility cloak. By the time you realize something's wrong, those parasites are already having a party in your bloodstream. First, you get fever and headaches. Then your sleep cycle goes completely haywire. You're wide awake at night, 
and passing out during the day like a drunk vampire. You could be eating dinner and suddenly face plant into your soup. These flies are the world's worst parents. Instead of laying eggs like normal insects, they give birth to one fully grown maggot at a time. The maggot is almost as big as mom, and she feeds it with bug milk. These flies actually have udders. These flies have made entire regions of Africa uninhabitable. They've killed more cattle than all the McDonald's in the world. Farmers literally have to abandon their land when these flies show up. They're attracted to the color blue. So if you're walking around their territory wearing blue, you're basically wearing a bite me sign. Number 5. Funnel Web Spider Australia's eight-legged nightmare, the funnel web spider, doesn't run away when threatened. Instead, these creatures stand their ground and charge at you like tiny angry bulldogs with fangs. Their venom is a biological hand grenade for your nervous system. It throws your body's electrical system into complete chaos. One bite, and your nerves start firing like a broken Christmas light display. These spiders don't just bite once. They grab on and keep stabbing until they're sure you're having a very bad time. It's like getting attacked by a tiny serial killer with anger management issues. They build funnel-shaped death traps and wait for prey to fall in. And they can survive underwater for 24 hours, just waiting for someone to stick their hand in. Scientists actually milk these spiders for their venom. Someone's actual job is to annoy one of the world's deadliest spiders until it gives up its poison. The males are six times more toxic than females, and they wander around looking for mates, especially after rain. So when it rains in Sydney, angry lovesick spider males start roaming the streets. Their venom only affects primates and a few other mammals. A cat can get bitten and just walk it off like nothing happened. These spiders evolved specifically to target us. Number 4. Driver Ants an army of millions marches through the African wilderness like a living flood. These aren't your regular backyard ants that steal your picnic crumbs. Driver ants move in massive swarms that can strip the flesh off any animal unlucky enough to cross their path. These tiny terrors don't even bother building a permanent home. They're basically homeless serial killers, wandering around Africa looking for their next victim. When they find prey, millions of ants surge forward in perfect coordination. Their jaws are so strong they're sometimes used as emergency stitches in the wild. The ant bites down, they twist off its body, and the head stays locked in place like a staple. The colony moves like one giant organism, with millions of minds working as one. They'll even cross rivers by forming living rafts with their bodies. Thousands of ants sacrifice themselves so the colony can keep moving. It's like nature's version of the Titanic, except this one actually makes it to the other side. Their male ants are called sausage flies, because they're basically flying chunks of meat that exist just to mate with the queen. The locals in Africa have learned to just abandon their homes when they see these swarms coming, because trying to fight off millions of driver ants is like trying to stop a tsunami with an umbrella. Number 3. Asian Giant Hornet These flying tanks are basically hornets on steroids. They're so big, you might mistake them for small birds. At 2 inches long with a 3-inch wingspan, they make regular hornets look like mosquitoes. Their stinger is a quarter-inch long poison needle that can punch through a beekeeper's suit. And they can sting multiple times because their stinger doesn't get stuck like a bee's does. It's like getting stabbed with a hot nail dipped in acid. The venom they pack is a cocktail of eight different chemicals designed to cause maximum pain. It can literally dissolve human flesh. Multiple stings can make your tissue melt like ice cream on a hot day. These monsters can fly at 25 miles per hour and chase you for up to 5 miles. So unless you've got a car nearby... You're not getting away, and running just makes you smell more delicious to them. They're attracted to human sweat. When they attack a beehive, it's like watching a horror movie. A group of 30 hornets can wipe out a hive of 30,000 bees in under 3 hours. They decapitate bees like kids pulling apart Lego figures, then steal the bee larvae to feed their own kids. The Japanese honeybees evolved one defense. When a hornet scout enters their hive, hundreds of bees dogpile it. They vibrate their flight muscles until the temperature hits 117 degrees. The hornet gets cooked alive while the bees survive because they can handle slightly higher temperatures. It's like a tiny bee microwave. These hornets kill about 50 people a year in Japan alone. That's more than bears, snakes, and sharks combined. And now they've reached North America, where our bees have no defense against these flying death machines. Number 2. The Bullet Ant Getting stung by this tiny terror feels like getting shot but the pain keeps getting worse for the next 24 hours. These monsters live in the rainforests of South America, probably because they got kicked out of everywhere else for being too violent. The pain from their sting is so intense, scientists had to create a whole new category on the pain scale just for them. Imagine a hot nail, dipped in lava, then hammered it into your bones while shocking you with electricity. 
A tribe in the Amazon uses these ants for their coming-of-age ritual. They weave hundreds of angry bullet ants into gloves. Then they make young men wear these gloves for ten minutes. They have to do this twenty times over several months to become a warrior. Scientists who've been stung say the pain is so bad, it makes you forget your own name. One described it as walking over flaming charcoal with a three-inch nail embedded in your heel. These ants live in colonies of up to 3,000. So if you make one angry, you're probably making all 3,000 of them angry. The venom isn't even meant to kill you. It's just designed to make you wish you were dead. Number one, Africanized honeybees. These aren't your friendly neighborhood pollinators. These are nature's own special forces unit. Back in the 1950s, Scientists in Brazil crossbred European honeybees with African ones. The bees escaped, and now they're spreading across the Americas like an angry plague. Regular bees will give you a warning before they sting, but Africanized bees skip the warning and go straight for the kill shot. When these guys attack, they send the entire army. One bee releases an alarm pheromone when it stings you. This paints a target on your back that says, Sting here, in bee language. Suddenly, thousands of angry bees come at you like tiny heat-seeking missiles. They'll chase you for up to half a mile. Even jumping in water won't save you. They'll just wait above the surface like tiny, angry lifeguards. They're smaller and faster than regular honeybees. Like someone took a normal bee and gave it espresso and cocaine. And they don't just sting once and die like regular bees. They keep stabbing you like tiny, flying serial killers. These bees are so aggressive, they'll attack dark objects up to 50 feet from their hive. Wearing dark clothes near their nest is like wearing a please sting me sign. You're not dealing with a bee colony. You're dealing with a tiny air force that takes everything personally. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.